As some of y'all know, Latasha Scott went live on her IG, had a whole breakdown. She did not save the live, so we only have bits and pieces, but this is the bulk of what she said. It does stop at the end because we do not have the end of the live, okay? But again, a good 25 minutes of her talking and talking and talking about stuff. Now, I will be live tonight at 9 p.m. We will watch this together and have a conversation on Jay Lee's Corner at 9 p.m. Okay, around 9 p.m., maybe 8.30-ish, 9 p.m. Look at my channel. It's already up. But get into what she said. This way y'all can hear it without me pausing, without the weird voices, because y'all know why the voices are different. Well, because it's a speed it up, and so that folks know this is Jay Lee's recording of it all, okay? So, yeah, the voice is sped up just because it's sped up. It's not that much of a big deal. But, again, get into what she said because I feel like is she looking for sympathy or not? I'm in a space where I need to free my mind and free my heart, free my, my spirit, I'm by myself in this hotel room, and I know everybody's always saying, you know, I'm with people or somebody's telling me what to say. Um, and this is this is real coming from me, y'all. I um, I'm gonna show you just so y'all, because everybody thinks that I'm being puppet puppeted. I'm in a room by myself. By myself, I just finished. A um, couple of my interviews that I had to do today and it's just been on my spirit. It's just very heavy With all the things that are going on in my life in my personal life and I wanted to come on here to share my heart with you guys to share my Emotions with you guys and just be real because I'm human, you know things hurt the same way. They hurt you. They hurt me um, There are things that have been said about me um, things that are going on in my life and it's a lot When I say it's a lot, it's a lot um, it's overwhelming, actually. But I want to first start off by apologizing to our fans. When we started this almost 30 years ago, all it, it was ever just for us to sing. That's it. And that's all I ever wanted to do. I, I didn't come into this business to talk about people, to shame people, to make myself feel better than, to make somebody feel less than. That's not, that's not what I came here to do. I came here to sing. And I feel like God gave me the gift to do that. This has just been a whirlwind a roller coaster one that you know highs and lows and to be quite honest with you guys i'm at a low i'm really at a low um but thank y'all thank y'all for hearing us thank you guys for supporting the group and and loving on us when we weren't even loving on ourselves i i, I really and truly appreciate that from my heart y'all don't deserve this you don't you know, when, when you can think about the times when I was, you know, I'm from College Park, so to hear people say, y'all not going to make it, you know, you you know, you you don't have a look or y'all sound this way. And for us to have endured this long with you guys by our side supporting us, you know, all I could do is just say thank y'all and that I, I'm, I'm sorry that we're taking y'all through this, you know, and we're taking ourselves through this. Um, yesterday I had a an interview um, and Brad and I had some words, you know, we went back and forth. And I didn't understand why, you know, when she said to me, you know, Candy felt sad when you were um, being a leader of the group. You know, she she felt sad. And I said she felt sad. I, I never heard this. This is something new to me. But even in that, I have to take accountability for if there's something that I didn't see, if it's something that, you know, and it's, it's possible that because I just wanted to sing, I never looked at it as this person is sad. I just wanted to use the gift. So if I overlooked you, Candy, I'm sorry. I never wanted to do that. I never knew you were sad. Um, and I know what that sadness feels like. I really do. And that's never been my intention. Um, when we were in the group, like I said, I just 
wanted to sing. I wanted to be, you know, us to be successful. I felt like music was going to bring us together in love and understanding. I mean, I'm 17, 18 years old. What do I know? You know, so I'm sorry if I made you feel sad. Never. That was never my intention. Um, if I didn't see you or you felt like, girl, I'm right here. I'm sorry. To Tiny, who I consider my friend. Um, I love your family. Eris, that's my baby. That's that's my heart, you know. Um, and we've always said that we were family. And I feel like, you know, you were the ones who always try to bring things together for us. You know, you were the one to say, hey, ladies, let's get it together. And I kind of, you know alienated myself from you because I was trying to figure out everything. I didn't know what was going on. You told me, go or go do the gospel. You know, you should do the gospel. You're the one who gave me the motivation to do it. And once I stepped out to sing for God, it was like, I felt away because it's like, I can't share the goodness because every time I say I'm going to do something, everybody's mad at Tasha. So I really, you know, I ostracized myself. Um, you know, normally you and I would talk about everything, you know, and normally you, you're the type of person that'll say, hey girl, let's, I'm going to talk to the girls and I just, I just didn't know what to do. I, I felt like, if, I, if I'm honest and, like, I'm excited, nobody's, nobody cares. So, you know, for that, I apologize to you. You know, we are like sisters, and I didn't talk to my sister. Maybe you could have shed light on some things that I probably, you know, needed to hear. Um, but you, you've been there, you know. Sometimes you did things, and I'm like, Tiny, why are you saying that? And she, like, you know, used to be like, cuz, girl, because, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you would say stuff like that to me, and I, I apologize for not sharing my heart with you. Um, to my sister, Tamika. Everybody knows that family. My family is everything to me. Everything. There are times in scenes I wouldn't say nothing because I know if I say something, it could damage my family. If you look at the last episodes that we did on Still Kicking It, I had the this same feeling in my heart because, and I, and I said, y'all can go back and look at it. I said, hey, as long as I got my sister and my family, that's all I need. And I still feel like that to this day. And what's going on with us is it's not cool. I, um, I'm not happy about it. I feel like being a big sister, you're supposed to protect, you know. You're supposed to be there. You're supposed to, to hear you out. And I've been trying to do that. I've been reaching out to you. And um, I'm praying that things get better. You know, I really am. This is not me coming on here trying to make somebody look bad or nothing. This, I'm speaking from my heart. Um, Mama didn't raise us this way. And I apologize to my mother as well because you have been scrutinized for being a mother. You were there when nobody else was and you've always been able to get us together. And the way that I see you being dragged in this media, it, it hurts me. Nobody wants to see their mother dragged in the media because of what they see depicted on television. Which, by the way, everything that y'all see is not what it seems. It is not what it seems. And my mother and my sister and I, we have had a very strong bond. And to see that tarnished in an industry that needs to see love and support, that bothers me. It angers me because that's not who we are. Painted in a, in a picture that it's not. That's not who we are. You know, I apologize to you, Mom, for having to sit and, and watch and look at this, look at your daughters go through this and try to find a resolve and can't. For any mother that breaks, that would break my heart if I had two daughters who are going back and forth and, and the industry is eating it up and people like drama. This is not the drama that I signed up for. When I said I was going to do this TV show, it was to celebrate women. It was to celebrate two groups who have lasted and endured this industry. That's, that's hard to do, y'all. It's hard to get through this industry and, and still have your integrity intact and still understand what love is and still treat people with respect. That's very hard. When you've seen, I've seen myself how people... I don't even want to say giving us the roses because you have to earn that stuff. But we worked hard to get to where we are. But to not have that celebrated to me is has done an unjust to both groups. We talk about legacy and, and things of that sort. And how can you have a legacy? How can it be fulfilled when somebody is sitting here, a, you know, painting a narrative that that's not even true? Do we have issues? Yes. Can we resolve them? Yes. But it, it takes communication and, and us getting through what we got to get through. You know, my grandmother's watching. 92 years old. I can't sit here and, and, and tarnish even that legacy. I got to apologize to my grandmother for, for her seeing me and my sister and us go through the things that we're going through right now. It's, it's not fair. It's not right. Y'all didn't raise me to be this way. Y'all raised us strong. 
you guys raised us to have integrity and to pray. And when I tell you I've been on my knees praying, trying to figure this out and trying to work things out. Um, my family is rocked right now. It is. It's hurtful. It is. Um, I can't find peace in this. And if there's anybody else that's out there who are going through, I, I, I know what it feels like. I know what the pain feels like. And for me and my sister, we're going to get it together. You know, we. I'm reaching out. I don't have the answers. I found out about a $30,000 allegation when I watched the TV with y'all. Did I take my sister's money? I did not. We were going through so much 10, 11 years ago together as a family. It was one of the things that I can't lie, we were both at our lowest. We didn't have money. I, we, I ended up, we all lived, lived with my mother. And that's something that, you know, y'all will see on the show where we say that I didn't have anywhere to live. We didn't. And we pulled through. So when you, when you talk about 30000 that I don't know anything about, all I said is, can we get clarity about it? Because during that time, we, we both were helping one another. I just need clarity. What are you seeing? What are you saying? Because I have my receipts and you have yours. But we need to sit down as, as sisters and not go through this. In the social media. Like, on social media, it's not good. We need to sit down and figure out what this is because we can get through anything. But we have to communicate. We have to talk to one another because you can't get through anything without that. And I've been convicted already of being a thief, and I don't even know what you're talking about. You put up something online with Tamika. We both have receipts. We both have receipts. Let's just get through it. What is this? How do we maneuver? How do we get through this? Whatever it is, Tamika, we can resolve it. This is not nothing that we need to perpetuate and continue to move and make people feel away. This is us. We're sisters. We've never not been able to talk about anything ever. And I don't feel like because of what's going on in the, you know, in this media that we should use this platform for to down one another or to try to make each other feel less than. That's not what this is. We're supposed to be family. And I want my family back. I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about what people say. It's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika, if I didn't hear you. If I didn't hear your voice, I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to to make it. I'm trying to weather storms in my own personal life. It's like I'm not trying to negate how y'all's feelings are. It's like I have to still have peace within. I got to be able to understand how to move. I don't have all the answers. Being a big sister, you don't have all the answers. Sometimes I make mistakes. I'm human. But with us, we have to resolve this. This cannot dampen or, or drag us out or make us feel like we don't love each other. We love each other. The love is never going to go. You, love doesn't just, you can't throw love away. You just can't throw it out the window because something comes on, you know, and you have a, a hiccup in the road. That's not what this is. I love you with all of my heart. With all of my heart. And when I hear people say, your sister had your back and we've had each other's backs. I stood up for you the same way you, st you stood up for me. And I, I would never, I won't apologize for that. That's what it is. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how we were raised. That bond can't be broken. Now, right now we're going through these times, but at the end of the day, when I got my sister and I'm, I got my family, I still stand on that. That's, that's, that's everything. It's that and then the business. And that's why y'all see me looking crazy on TV. Y'all don't know that that was the very first scene that my sister and I shot with my mother. No, it wasn't four or five um, scenes later. It was the very first scene. So I'm upset. I carry my feelings right here. Everybody that knows me, they know that. I can't. I'm not fake. I don't know what to do with that. That's, this is who I am. I can't hide from it. I can't shun it. I can't sit here and pretend that it ain't. This is who I am. So if y'all see me cry, y'all see me looking like this is because I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings. And I'm in my feelings when it comes down to my family. And we're going to resolve this. I love my sister. And can't nobody else talk about it. Don't call me talking about my sister. Don't text me talking about my sister. Do not DM me talking about my sister. Because we're going through this. It's just the fact that we're in the public eye. So many people out there now, y'all going through stuff too. It's just the cameras are not in y'all's faces. The cameras are not capturing the fact that you guys are going through far worse than what we are. And I'm not pointing fingers. I'm saying, don't judge us. Pray for us. Be there for us. In a way to where God gets the glory. It's not even about us at the end of the day. It's about the love that we have and what we show people to get through. And we're going to get through this. I'm trusting God that we will. And we will. We're going to talk to me because I don't know. I mean, I keep reaching out. Mama's reaching out. I'm going to keep reaching out till you call me, till we rectify whatever the situation is. We're going to get through it. I know we will. Um, and I apologize for anything that I didn't see, anything that I don't understand. I apologize to you for that. Excuse me, y'all. I apologize. I did not steal my sister's money. I did not steal my sister's money. Tamika, you know I didn't steal your money. And if there's anything that I can do to resolve this, I'm going to resolve it. 
to all those people that are out there who are judging me because of my relationship with my husband. We have been married for 28 years. I have been with this man for 28 years through the highs and lows. I've been at my worst. I've been depressed. I've been wanting to take myself out of here. He was the only one that stood by my side. And I'm not saying this to make it seem like, oh, he's everything. But at, he's everything to me and my family. He's everything to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever by the things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't going to always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand by side my husband? I know. Y'all think I don't know. I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my, that is my private business. But because I'm sharing my heart with y'all, I'm letting y'all know, please, stop it. I can't even think about the things that are going on now because I'm being attacked. Everywhere I go, I'm being attacked. I go to the radio stations, I'm being attacked. I go to this place, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked because I said I wanted to do a gospel project. A gospel, I want to sing to the Lord. And every other minute, I'm being attacked. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. My sister, that's my family. My husband, that's my family. And I can't even get through the things that I got to get through because y'all attacking me. How do y'all think that, how do y'all even know that I'm strong enough to take all of the stuff that I'm taking? I feel like I'm by myself. That I am alone and nobody wants to feel like that. Nobody. I just wanted to sing. That's it. And me wanting to sing has caused so much controversy. So much, so many allegations. And I'm like, where's all this stuff coming from? And I know that the enemy is busy. When you pray and you ask for God to, to bless you and, and to order your steps, it comes with scrutiny. It comes with peaks and valleys. And right now I'm in the valley, y'all. And y'all keep poking and y'all keep pushing and y'all keep talking. And I get it. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but do keep in mind, I'm a human being just like y'all. And there's certain things in my life that I'm trying to straighten out. But how can I straighten things out? With y'all poking and, and, and accusing me and convicting me. And I'm trying to find answers. I'm trying to find resolve. I can't even get to the resolve because every time I turn around, y'all, y'all saying things about me. What in the world am I doing to y'all? I'm trying to figure out life on my end. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And like I said, I've had conversations with God and I'm just freeing myself. To, right now, it's just me being in this vulnerable place and, and, and speaking to you guys about my life and about the fact that I am not... I'm not happy. I'm not at peace right now. And when it comes down to my husband, we have a relationship where we talk. Everybody wants to say he's a brain. He's very smart. And I know iron sharpens iron. So if y'all see me looking at my husband and he's talking to me, I've never been abused at all. Verbally, mentally, physically, never. I'm not stupid. I wouldn't dare stay in a relationship where I feel like I've been abused. This is not what this is. This is love. And it's, it's, some people don't want to celebrate it. Y'all highs and lows and everything. I ain't saying that we perfect. We're not perfect. We're not. But we live in a society where we're convicted before anything. And all of the naysayers and all the lies and people, people are, I have had people screenshot me pictures of people being paid to destroy us. To destroy us. Y'all don't know what it feels like, but I mean, it's easy to sit behind a, a phone and a computer and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But y'all don't know what it feels like for people to continue to come against you and attack you every day. And for what reason? Nobody's telling me why y'all attacking me. Y'all just keep going. But it's okay because I, I serve a true God and that's all. I'm standing on my faith. I'm standing on my faith and I know that God is not going to, he, he's never left me yet. Am I going through the, the valley right now? I am. But yea, though I walk through the, <laughs> the valley of the shadow of death, I will, I will feel no evil. Because this is evil out here. And a lot of the people that, y'all know, y'all, I'm not even going to say Christians or people, believers, y'all know, when you say you want to do something for God and you just be attacked. It's hard, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to make it through this. We all are. You know, I just, I wanted to share my truth with y'all, you know, and, and I, I want to apologize to Motown and Capitol Records, um, even the gospel community. I did not intend to bring this type of attention in this arena. 
I didn't I wanted to sing. I came to share my heart with y'all. I was coming out of certain scenes and I was crying and I was able to have the conversation with God and share my story through song. And I do believe that God, that's what he did for me in my life. He's allowed me to be a minister through music. And now I don't even know. I, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to turn. You know, I, I use the music as therapy, but now it's, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. And I just, and I felt in my spirit that I have to be real and transparent with you guys. I'm, I'm not whole right now. I'm, I'm bruised. I'm, I'm emotional. And this is what you're seeing. And I can't hide it. I'm, I'm not trying to hide it. I just want y'all to know that I need people, prayer warriors. I need people who know how to uplift, who know how to, to help in times like this. Because this is a time for me. And I can't lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. But um, my apologies to my group, to, to the fans, to my mother, to my father, to my grandmother, to my family, to the whole, the whole gospel community. This is not what I came in for. I... I came here to free myself, to heal, to, to speak the word of God, to have a message in my heart. That's over. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I did not steal money from my sister. I see some of these comments. I just want to talk to my sister. And when my sister talks to me, we're going to get through this. And then y'all can go about your business and, and go talk about somebody else because that's what's going to be next. Somebody else going to come along. Y'all going to continue to bash and, and ain't nobody really trying to help find no resolve. Y'all out here making people. And y'all don't know that this mental health, this stuff is real. Y'all sit here and do this, and next minute y'all know something happens to somebody, and y'all want to be apologetic. And y'all want to say, oh, I, we didn't know that that person was going through that. And you talk about, oh my gosh, we didn't know. But y'all are the ones who are help causing this, some of this stuff. And it's sad, because everybody got a day. Everybody ain't gonna, It's not going to be high for y'all every day. It's going to be some low points. And you better get a grip with God. You better find out who, who your God is, because everybody going to go through it. And I'm going through it right now, and I'm not pointing the fingers at nobody. All I'm saying is... I need help. I need people who love. I don't need people who hate. I need people who can give me advice too. Because I'm a big sister, but I need a big sister right now. I need somebody to say, girl, it's going to be okay. Because me and my sister, we're going to get through that. That's nothing. That, that ain't nothing. That's us talking. That's whatever that situation is, we're going to fix it. But all y'all on here trying to dog me out for stuff that I don't even know nothing about? Come on, man. Y'all convicted me. For, I ain't even been tried yet. Y'all convicted me. But it's okay. I can't, I can't please everybody. I'm not trying to please everybody. All I'm saying is, if there's anybody out there that is at your wit's end, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. And it's very hurtful. When you, all you want to do is just do what you love. And you got all these people saying things about you. Are you human? Now, that is where the portion of the video that I have cuts off. Okay. Again, I'll be live tonight around 8.30, 9 p.m. on my channel. Where we can fully discuss all of this. Because it's a lot to discuss. What she said, her apologies, her admissions of what she did not know or did not want to accept or whatever. So again, that will be discussed tonight on Jaylee's Corner. Make sure to like this video, comment in the comment section, hit that share button, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on social media at Jaylee's Corner on IG, Twitter, and TikTok. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.